Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant, we pray, that by her example we may in humility hold fast to your will. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz. Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or as high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary men? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our sponsorial song will be, Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, for he founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and be, will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in the intentions for this Mass for Reverend Thomas Sempolinski. Please keep him and his family in our prayers. And so we hear in the reading today, we hear about that virgin to be conceived, a son who will bear that son, and his name will be Emmanuel. We hear that in Isaiah. And then we hear about the messenger of the, of the Lord, Gabriel, coming to Mary, a simple peasant Jewish girl, 12, 13 years old, and being greeted with the greeting, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And then her pondering, what sort of greeting could this be? And then as she hears of God's plan for her, and how she will bear his son, who will be the redeemer of the world, she ponders and says, how can that be? I know no man. I have no relations. And so we see, not only with her pregnancy, but also with Elizabeth, we see how God is working miracles in these women's lives. And then each one of them says yes to the Lord. Elizabeth, carrying John, who is to prepare the way for the Lord, who will ask the questions, are you who we are looking for, or shall we look for another? And how he prepares the way for other people to recognize Emmanuel, Jesus, this son of Mary and Joseph, how he will come to redeem the world. And so we recognize in our own lives how God works miracles each and every day. But do we have the eyes to see? Do we have the ears to hear? Do we have the mind and the spirit and the heart to recognize all that God does for us? Or do we see, somehow think our lives are about us, that we do all the things that are part of our lives? How we are blessed, we think it comes from us, and we forget that it always comes from God. So let us rejoice this week. Let us recognize the blessings that he gives us. And let us be like Mary who says yes, and then also say, may it be done unto me according to your will.
with faith of both Mary and Elizabeth, let us lift up our prayers before God. For the church, that our hearts may leap for joy as we recognize God with us in the people and events of our lives, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those affected by the recent tornadoes, may they receive the help they urgently need and also receive the long-term support they will need to rebuild their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are traveling this week and visiting their loved ones, that they may find joy in each other's company and return home safely, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish faith community, may the example of Mary and Joseph inspire us to trust completely in God's plan. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, that God will heal all who are suffering, give them hope, and renew the strength of all who are caring for them. And we especially pray for Samuel Jacobson, for Julia and Ramon Navarro, for Alban Michalowski, and for all those names and intentions that are in place in the Book of the Sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, that they may know in heaven the reward of their faithfulness. And we especially pray for Oliver Leopold and for J Jeff Jacobs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray the prayer that is in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the intentions for this Mass, for Reverend Thomas Sampolinski. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, our prayers are no secret to you, yet we raise them to grow in a relationship. Hear these, our prayers, and answer them according to your will. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, O become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, O become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray, upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited, and for which our faith bids us hope, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with lo love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming, 
and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. And we especially remember the intentions for our Mass for Reverend Thomas Sempolinski. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries you may give the joy of true peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will pray our Renew My Church prayer together. Lord Jesus, 
You speak to us today as you spoke to holy men and women who have gone before us in every age and in our own time. You call to us and say, renew my church, pour out the gift of your Holy Spirit upon us, and so enable us to hear you clearly, to listen to each other attentively, to imagine our future boldly, to discern your direction wisely, to persevere in your holy will courageously, to stay together in charity, to surrender our own plans readily, to embrace the greater good, to hand on your gifts to future generations. May we remain in the holy company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Apostles and all the Saints. May their example and the presence inspire us with patient confidence in the work of your grace. We ask this of you who live and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May you have a blessed day and a blessed week as we move towards uh, uh, Christmas Vigil and Christmas Day. If you will be traveling, please know you will continue to be in my prayers for safety and also as we remain vigilant and also healthy as we mix with whatever groups we will be mixing with, that uh, we will help prevent the spread of the coronavirus. May God bless you on your travels, or if you stay home with your family, and please know you are in my prayers. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Lead us to your light. Lead us out of darkness. Lead us to your light. Come, Jesus, come. Lead us to